Look at those airplanes. Everything is Air Canada on that side. Okay, let's get the buggy. They're smashing to a random white guy. Alright guys, so we made it to Cuba. Finally we are here. It was <laughs> it was a crazy travel, but we are in Varadero. We came last night, so we slept for about five hours. But it's beautiful. Look at this place. There's so many people, the most important part, and the hotel where we are staying, it's actually we didn't know it's actually all inclusive, so as many drinks if as you want as much food as you want you can just keep on ordering stuff and it's all free <laughs> let me show you around all right guys so we are in Cuba! Finally! <laughs> is all the deal. Oh my god, there is a huge laser. The eye is so beautiful. Look at that one. To walk! Sitting like a dog with a tail up. Time. I don't know how Air Canada didn't get us on the flight, but they got our luggage ahead of us. Now we have two awesome guys for instructors, and we are going to go snorkeling with them. So get you. Oh, oh. <laughs> trucks from my childhood in Ukraine but the views here is beautiful it's just fantastic it's just like India just like India yeah? Yeah, just like Kerala just like Kerala probably yeah? Uh, yeah I think so but I think less people yeah what is it yeah. slightly less people and palm trees palm trees more palm trees <laughs> guys I hope you're enjoying this trip as much as we do because I know I'm excited first time I'm sitting in the convertible car <laughs> Sanito, are you ready? Are you ready for a swim?
awesome and uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I learned, kind of learned swimming. It's almost like cycling. Yeah. But I still have to learn to breathe and I cannot swim without the fins. No, she was swimming really fast and I couldn't Nobody catch her up. It's very, very fast. And I didn't know how to stop. Uh, uh, like when there was coral, I didn't know how to stop. Holy My company is the school, uh, snorkeling tour Baradero. Is if you want to come to Cuba, you need to visit my company. We are going to the to find the good tower to to uh, snorkeling, no, a snorkeling uh, tour, no. Uh, it's so good. We are going to the coral beach. You enjoy, it. yeah, yeah. And later we are going to the cave. This is the cave. It's the Saturno cave, and we stay around one hour here in this place. Um, it's no fish, no coral inside, but it's so nice water. It's a fresh water. It's amazing. I suggest you come here and you visit this excursion. Yeah? yeah, yeah. And if you don't know how to swim, too, Nito didn't know how to swim until today, and he trained Nito how to swim for yes. snorkeling. So if you don't know how to swim, you can still come and you you learn how to swim and you enjoy it. Okay. Can you say Can you say something in Spanish? Espanol. Bueno chicos, vengan a Cuba y vamos a pasarla bien en Snorkeling Tour Baradero. Una buena excursión y vamos a pasarla súper. Si vienen, vamos a ver muchos peces y muchos corales y aquí la playa, eh, la cueva de Saturno que está súper. Vamos a disfrutarlo. Hey, so guys, this is an amazing trip to Baradero. George is awesome instructor. And we are now going to the cave. Guys, I'm going to leave all the information for contact for George so you can contact him. He's an amazing instructor, tour guy, really affordable and awesome guy. He'll take a video on the GoPro for you and yeah, if you don't know how to swim, he'll take care of it and he'll train you. Hey guys, this is the biggest, by far the biggest ever cactus I have ever seen. I have not seen a cactus taller than me, but that is freaking, it's a tree. I don't know what that is. Here, it's beautiful here, music is playing, we had an amazing trip for scuba diving and uh, snorkeling. And need to learn how to swim today. Like a puppy. <laughs> I swim very, very well, you know, I had, I got a muscle cramp trying to chase you. Couldn't stop her, she was swimming so fast towards the corals. <laughs> yeah, I like that bar so much, you see it in the water there. So nice. Okay guys, so we are now in a hospital. Need to 
got hospitalized, I think, I don't know, we are running tests. We went to a Cuban medical clinic, basically a hospital. And of course, Cuban medicine, Cuban medicine is famous for good doctors and good treatment, at least in Eastern Europe. I don't know how Americans do that, but yeah, Nitu is there right now. I'm just waiting for her. Haven't eaten anything. Didn't eat anything since morning. Hopefully she's going to get better. They put some medication there. So we'll see. I'm just walking around the streets at night, searching, searching for some food and hopefully we'll find something. I am walking at night in Cuba. There is no one around. Like literally streets are empty except the cars. I mean, there are a few people there and here. Finally found some light to make a video. Because it's dark, no one is on the street, just few people here and there. And I'm the only crazy person, tourist, walking at night and vlogging here. Right, guys? I'm going to hide my camera before I lose it. <laughs> no, Cuba is a safe country, it's all fine. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we are in Havana already. And I want to make some nice, nice B-rolls and videos for you from old Havana but it started to rain. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it with this rain because I don't want to get my gimbal and my camera spoiled by water. But we made it even with this travel was fun. I mean, our luggage got delayed. It came before us, our flight got delayed. We, because of Air Canada, we were trying on deadlines. In 3 a.m. we came here to like we came in the middle of the night because we were waiting for our luggage we thought we don't have a driver we had to take a driver from Havana to Varadero for three hours drive in the middle of the night from 12 to 1 or 3 a.m. it was crazy it was spooky but yeah we made it we are finally in a hotel really nice really safe beautiful country with nicest people ever I like the Hispanic architecture here even though the buildings are old but it still has that you know that beautiful charisma the city has charisma it's beautiful We are in old Havana, it's our last day in Cuba and I think need to eat something wrong so she doesn't feel good and we are about to go back to Toronto to fly to our flight to Calgary back to Canada back to winter one of the last days here on a sunny side well it was just raining so it's clouds but it's weird, the weather here is weird because it rains, then the sun comes out, then it rains again. You never know what's happening. Finally back to Calgary, loaded with all the camera gear and everything. Our trip is over. It was it was an extraordinary trip. It was not a usual one. One day delay. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was fun, but we did some nice snorkeling. It's a good trip, guys. Cuba is one of the safest countries I would say for tourists but be careful on what you eat even if you're in a hotel check the reviews of hotels that's the biggest tip I can give you 
and also know the wages of people, how much they're making. Usually it is closer to, for example, nurses are making 40 CUC, it's like 40 US dollars, and doctors are making 60. So when you are giving tips to someone, just take into consideration that you don't have to give too much because the standards there are slightly lower. So if you are even going to tip them like $5 is going to be more than enough 